I want to thank Leah and Dan for selecting me for the honor of the best brother speech. I will selectively ignore that I was their only option for this particular <laughs> honor. I feel it in my soul Cause when you know, you know I was 12 when I met Leah. From day one, we did not have a typical brother-sister relationship. I didn't quite know what to make of this tiny baby that showed up in our house in the middle of my sixth grade year. The years changed, the times changed, but my love for my little sister has never changed. She is a special person with a huge heart and a beautiful person inside and out. And one day she met Dan. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like a good guy on paper. Lehigh grad, hockey player, Flyers and Eagles fan. Then I met Dan, and he passed the kid test. My kids adored him, so I thought he must be a good guy. Kids like dogs can sniff out a decent, genuine person. But then I saw him and Leah together, and I knew this was a match. Two people who complemented each other in a way that made a whole greater than the parts. Lila. Let me see, you look gorgeous. Beautiful. Come here. And oh, Ava, yes. my good. Like little princesses. Uh -huh. <laughs> so crazy. So, you know what it says? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Getting ready today, she was definitely the most relaxed I've ever seen her. Leah's always been a little stressed out and anxious when it comes to big life moments, and just now being with Dan over the past four years, she's really taken on his personality of being more carefree and letting things come and go and not being as anxious as she normally would be. And it was just such a nice feeling to see her loving every moment of it and really enjoying life and letting things happen. And it was really, really fun to be there with her all day today. His other groomsmen are, you know, kind of a mixed bag, some friends from home, there's a friend from work, and his dad was there, we were all sort of hanging out. You could definitely tell Dan was a little nervous, you know, as he sort of kind of got ready, but I think he did a good job in remaining calm. I felt like he had kind of prepped himself to go through the motions, kind of take in the moment, and I kind of kept an eye on him throughout the day just to kind of watch his, his moves and kind of see how he was doing, and I could definitely tell that he was prepared. My Bobo, my Dan, my love. It's hard to believe that four years ago, almost to the day, we met. That day I was immediately intrigued and within a week, you had captured my heart. I've never faced life's challenges without your unconditional love. Not once have I had to walk alone. Today is the day that we will look on for the rest of our lives, share with our children and grandchildren, and reminisce over as our wrinkles grow and our hairs gray. I know I will look back at our journey together as one that is nothing short of incredible. You're my everything, and I cannot wait to call you my husband. Your future wife, soon to be Mrs. Leah Penny. Like mother, like daughter. Oh, yay. My whole life Leah, the big day is finally here. I truly don't know what I have done to deserve a life partner who is as amazing in all aspects as you are. The values that you demonstrate on a day-to-day -day basis inspire me to try to be half of the person that you are. I'm so excited to create a lifetime of memories with you and never stop loving and caring for you all along the way. Today starts the rest of our lives and I can't wait to see that gorgeous smile come down the aisle. I promise to love you and care for you and support you as much as I possibly can forever and ever. I'm the luckiest man alive. Love you. Go, go, down. I love my sister, and I am thrilled that she found her soulmate. I love you both. May your marriage be as thrilling, interesting, riveting, and unpredictable as mine. <laughs>
enjoy each other. L'chaim. Cheers. I can hear her. Oh my God. You look incredible. You look so good. This is unbelievable. How you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry and run on my makeup. <laughs> it's gonna, this is unreal. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> you look incredible. This is incredible. You look so handsome. I like it. Welcome everyone. We've gathered today to celebrate Leah and Dan's love for one another. Well, hello, little baby. Your eyes have never seen the sun. We've come to share with this loving couple the moment when they'll pledge to one another their hearts. Holy one of blessing, grant your blessing to Dan and to Leah. Leah and Dan, you stand tonight in a space made holy by your presence and your love. This beautiful chuppah, it's a symbol of sacred space. And here you'll speak words of sanctification. I grew up with Dan around the corner from him. He invited me to this hurricane party and Leah and I were actually at her apartment and the power went out. I texted Dan saying, do you still have power? And of course he said, yes, we're having a party, get over here. So Leah and I walked through the two blocks in the worst wind, rain ever. She was blowing away, we lost two umbrellas. It was a nightmare getting there and then we got there and it was just so much fun and Dan and Leah clicked instantly. They had so much fun that night and you could just tell that something was starting. They're both just such amazing people and they fit like a glove. Each of their strengths complements the others. She knew right away that this was the guy. There was no question about it. Leah and Dan, it's your understanding of that very separate, singular nature of your relationship which brings you here tonight. And it's the love of your family and friends which bring them here to rejoice with you and to fulfill the mitzvah, the sacred obligation of rejoicing with bride and groom. I don't even know you. You could just tell the way that Dan talked about Leah, the way he presented her, the way that they were sort of arm in arm, that he took it very seriously. So I definitely think that it was different from the start. I get to be the one to hold your hand. And now, I ask you in the presence of this sacred assembly, to you, Dan, take Leah to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish. I do. I get to be the one. And do you, Leah, take Dan to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? I do. As our children grow, we, the parents, try to teach them life lessons. So tonight, Lucy and I will teach Lee and Dan the secrets for having a happy marriage. Some people think that getting what you ask for makes a gift less special. In fact, discovering that the person who you love loves you enough to hear what you want is even more special. Love your sweetheart enough to know what she wants. Once you start asking questions like, honey, what would you like for your birthday? You're gonna start hearing answers that you will regret immediately. From time to time, Ask your love the silly question, the one with the obvious answer. Asking ridiculous question often leads to the very surprising answer to a new discovery of depth. 
stop asking ridiculous questions. <laughs> asking such absurd questions simply creates false expectations and underlines the weakness of the entire man married population. <laughs> Forgive one another. Instead of remembering forever the petty crimes, just allow them to dissolve. Always forgive each other. Start over and remember the good that was there all along. It is statistically proven that a wife finds her husband wrong in 90-99% of all cases. In the rare case when you are actually right, find courage in yourself to apologize and remind your sweetheart that a good wife always forgives her husband when she is wrong. Leave the kitchen sink in the kitchen. By this I mean not to throw in things that do not belong in the current fight. Always ask yourself two questions. Do I really need to say it? And do I really need to say it now? Throw away the kitchen. Throw away the sink, throw away everything. There is nothing romantic comes out of that part of the house. I'm looking at all of this and feeling all this beautiful, loving energy and beauty and happiness in this room and in general that emanates from these two. And I want to wish you to box it all and to hide it in some secret place in your heart. And that will last you your very, very long, beautiful life together. We're celebrating tonight this exceptional event. And you guys celebrate with friends, with family, all the beautiful things, events that will be happening in your life. To your life together, to your love, to forever and a day. We love you very much. L'chaim. We love you. Welcome, everyone. We're ready to rock. Woo. Sound good? You guys ready to rock? Yeah. All right, there we go. On the first day of the week, the seventh day of the month of Tishrei in the year 5776, corresponding to the 19th day of September in the year 2015, here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States of America, in the presence of family and friends, the beloveds Daniel Scott Penny, son of Robert and Devaney Penny, and Leah Alexander Schneiberg, daughter of Yori and Lucy Schneiberg, entered into the covenant of marriage. As we embark on life's journey, we promise to love, cherish, encourage, and inspire one another. As life partners, we shall strive to build a home emanating love, peace, tolerance, and charity. Through each other's eyes, we see the world anew. May we be better together. All this is valid and binding. All right. Mazel tov. I think it was really nice how the rabbi incorporated both families in the ketubah signing. He had them both say a prayer at the end where they handed off the ketubah to the newly married couple. And the transferring over of their happy marriages over to the new couple was the most warm, touching moment, I think, of the whole ceremony. I feel complete joy because I think that the two of them have found each other and are at their very soul will always be together. You will now speak the words and exchange the rings that will formally unite you as husband and wife. Leah, if you'll take the ring you have for your groom Dan and offering your vow, place it upon his finger. Hare Atta. Hare Atta. Nikudash Lee.
Mikudash li. Bitabaat zo. Bitabaat zo. Be wedded to me. Be wedded to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my husband. As my husband. <laughs> Did it. And Dan, if you'll take the ring you have for your bride and place it upon her finger offering your vow. Hare at. Hare at. Mikudeshet li. Mikudeshet li. Bitabaat zo. Bitabaat zo. Be wedded to me. Be wedded to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife. Oh, jeez. Baruch ata Adonai nekadesh mo Yisrael al yadechu pa v'kidushin. We praise you, the source of all, who causes the bride and groom to rejoice together. so happy for them. Both families have molded together already from what I can tell. Everyone's dancing, holding hands, having just an amazing time and it's a really nice thing to see. Wild eyes, they love the pennies, I mean I've known them now for several years, you know, since parents weekend kind of stuff at school, but I knew Leah just because of her tenacity, because of her drive, like you could tell that she had a strong family behind her. And just getting to meet her parents, her brother, their families, their kids. It's just something really special. I think they balance each other out because she's so caring and loving and like concerned about everyone and he is so the life of the party and he just makes her more carefree and she really opens him up to being that considerate, loving person and they just really work well together. She is probably the kindest, sweetest, most loving person I've ever met. She has a heart of gold. She loves everyone with the fullest extent of her heart. She is honest and is going to make Dan a very, very happy man. My family is extremely happy for Daniel. We always had thought that he would find someone that was his soulmate, and if there could ever be a soulmate, it would be Leah, and we absolutely love Leah. She has embraced not only Dan's family, but his extended family and his extended friends, so you've got to think that that's a good thing and that they were meant to be together. At 6.15 tonight, we witnessed something special. I think everyone in this room who knows Dan can admit that they never thought they'd see the day where Dan Penny was on time for something. <laughs> this is a far cry from the pre-Leah days when Dan would be sitting half-naked on his couch reading a five-year-old National Geographic while everyone was waiting for him. Not much has changed. He's still not wearing underwear today. <laughs> oh, God. Kindergarten was the only year Dan and I went to school together but it didn't stop us from maintaining a strong friendship. About three years ago, Leah came into our lives, and we've been better off ever since, both of us. <laughs> Leah brings out the best in Dan, and it's not when he's mooning you out the car window. 
Comparing him to just a few short years ago, much has changed, although he still flexes his biceps in the gym. Not only can he grow facial hair, but he's polite, well-mannered, and considerate of others. On a more serious note, I've seen firsthand how great Dan and Leah are together. Leah is one of my best friends, and I'm so happy for Daniel to have found such a great girl. She always puts others in front of herself, and I've never met someone more caring. As per usual, things have always worked out in Dan's favor. Let's all raise a glass and toast to the newlyweds. When Leah asked me to be her maid of honor, I was absolutely thrilled. But then I remembered, damn, I have to give a speech. So here goes. You can go. You can start all over again. You can try to find a way to Loyal, caring, supportive, thoughtful, generous. Leah epitomizes these qualities. Her loyalty to our family and friends is one of the things I most love about Leah. Although we're separated by three states, she's always there when I need her. Some parting advice for Dan. I'm sure you already know, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. The key to Leah's heart is Cheez-Its. French fries with ketchup, replacing lost phones with no questions asked. Just do it. <laughs> and Dan, just let her sing. Leah and Dan's future will be very, very bright. They will be very prosperous in their relationship and they will share many, many, many memories together. So we congratulate them and we think that they will have a very happy future and they have our love and our support in whatever they do. I can actually sit here all day and talk about how amazing they are. I love them both very much and I couldn't be happier to bring the Penny family into the Sheris and Schneiberg family. I wouldn't mind having little cousin nieces and nephews running around very soon, even though I just got married. I think that it'll be very nice to see them raise a family together. You know, they're just such fun people that they're just gonna have such a good time along the whole way. I love you guys and I could not be more happy to be part of this weekend and look forward to so many more good times ahead. And it's just been such a wonderful weekend. The parents have, have done such an amazing job in, in kind of bringing everybody together. They're gonna have a great marriage and I'm excited to be a part of it. We'll People move in and out of our lives. It's just the way life goes. But if you're lucky like me, you'll find that one person who's your best friend, the one who sticks. For me, that person is Leah. I love you, Leah. A toast to my best friend forever and the love of her life, Dan. May the Holy One bless you and keep you. May the Holy One look down upon you in favor. May the Holy One's presence be with you always and grant you the most precious gift, the gift of peace. And let us all say, Amen. Dan and Leah, it is my honor and pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife 
you may kiss the bride. It didn't take long for me to find an old bagel wrapper with a poem Dan had written for Leah written on it. I saved the poem to read tonight. What? Stop. Oh God. <laughs> there is this girl named Leah. She really likes Cherry Garcia. When I see her, something happens in my pants. The same thing happened to me in France. I'm pretty sure it's diarrhea. <laughs> Oh, it's video. It's video. Okay. <laughs> you should have told me, and I was standing frozen. <laughs> no, no, I'm terrible. <laughs> Should I do my dance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My butt like pushes it up. You look beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at her. Do you have any special job to do today? Um, I'm the flower girl. So what does that mean? Whatever it takes. Before the rest. We women always adjust. And how do you feel about that? I'm excited. Yeah. Are you excited? Hi. How about you? Give me a hug. not shy. I have a no, question. No. Oh, no, just, oh, do you have a job to do today? I'm a thousand pictures um, of me trying to bow tie. I'm a flower girl. What does that mean? I throw flowers before Leah yeah. comes out. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, You've been in a wedding before? Yeah. Do you have any advice for these two? Uh, Don't do a fake smile. smile. Why do I smell the realm? Um, <laughs> Look at the gentleman! Look who they let in. Don't touch her. Don't touch like breastfeeding. So one, two, three, talk. Wait, should we all jump in? Just go one, two, three, talk. One, two, three, talk. No, one, two, three, talk. On a four count. Alright, one hand toss, ready? Okay. One, two, three, toss. I was scared it was a four count. Now we do the Oh, it's action? It's a, oh, it's a video. 
I mentioned that she was cute as a baby, but Leah wasn't always the beauty that we see before us. <laughs> One of my endearing memories, and you know I have to go here, of her as a child. Once we go down, it's emotions. Like, you can't date somebody without it being illegal. Right, right. right. So that, Is I that like. Is that a fact? Yeah, yeah. right? Right. So. You were under contract, like, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about it? <laughs> but what? people have uncomfortable no, dresses. <laughs> it's like, you can't date my crowd. Leah's on a high rise. She does not give a shit about anything. <laughs>